What's going on everybody? Welcome back. We are always gaming and this is Batman the Telltale series. Um, don't remember exactly what was happening last time, but we're just gonna... Oh, we're gonna check the drive that Lucius gave us. Alright, let's do that. Yeah, we just got kicked out of Way Manor. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known Children of Arkham activity. Okay, I'm assuming now I got an Arkham Asylum, City Hall, Courthouse, GCP. Let's start there. I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. This is ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. City Hall, record of Gotham Mayors. Hill had been in office for so long, it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't mayor. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased two weeks before the election. So who the hell is Theodore Cobb Cobblepot? Is that... Uh... Like the city halls in the courthouse? Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. Mm. Well, I guess I didn't do City Hall. No, I... Yes. Yes, I know it takes That's time. the but... understatement of the century. Considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes, just please let me know when it happens. The children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? I have to go warn Harvey. Give me a minute. Um, it was the last one's the uh, asylum, right? Not yet. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. These date back decades. Alfred, the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. All right, so. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. <laughs> Welcome back, Mr. Wayne. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back car. I'll need a rental in the meantime. 
Uh, Harvey? Uh, back here, Bruce. Uh, take a seat. I'll be right out. Oh, come on, not today. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, God, have to stop. <laughs> you, uh, you need some help back there? Uh, no, no, I, I'm, I'm fine. Well, it's, it's good as it's gonna get. Uh, you know, Bruce, I've been looking forward to this my entire career. The day Harvey Dent takes his official portrait as mayor of Gotham. And he looks like this. <laughs> he could not stifle his reaction. I'm glad you survived the trip up here, Bruce. He does look crazy, though. You want to tell me what's going on? I didn't keep you waiting that long, did I? Look, don't freak out, but I think the children of Arkham are listening in on you. You're in danger. They could have tabs on everything that goes on in this office. Who you're talking to, where you're going, everything. Damn it! God, I knew it. I knew it had to be true. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. Damn it! Those children of ours can jump me. God, it's only getting worse. It's out of control. Stop it! Well, Harvey, you drew attention to yourself with that speech. You need to be more careful. There was no good. Yeah. I careful is what that. got us into this mess. There wasn't. There wasn't a good option there. I should have stayed. Harvey quiet. Dent does everything by the book, to the letter of the law. But that isn't working. Sure it is. He's turning things around. Barely. Slowly. I'd like to see you do better. Watch me. Now are you gonna fix this mess? Simple. Easy. Curfews after dark, checkpoints at every bridge, mandatory identification cards, 24-7 video surveillance. Harvey, snap out of it! We all need to snap out of it! Sorry. So sorry about that, Bruce. I guess I got a little lost there. I'm probably not getting enough sleep these days. I think you should go see a doctor, Harvey. The way you're behaving, it's not healthy. Yeah, I have a guy's number. I'll, uh, I'll see him as soon as I have time. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. Uh, Mr. Doing Dent? Well, with Harvey. The right photographer's now, ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right He's out. Tripping. Please, Bruce, don't tell anyone about this. If anyone finds out or thinks I'm not fit to be mayor, it's all over. Your secret's safe with me, Harvey. <sighs> Thanks, Bruce. I owe you. Again. <laughs> again and again. <sighs> See you around, Bruce. Interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. That is awfully suspicious. Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Uh, she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Last time we talked, I gave her a pretty valuable tip. Sergeant Montoya's name. Though after this interview, I'm sure the police will become suspicious of all of Miss Vale's sources. And if they find out you leaked Montoya's name... True. We need to be careful. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? 
Hello? I think you know exactly who this is. Batman. Investigative journalism suits you. <laughs> I, I like to think so. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. I said I'd be here, didn't I? Uh, good to know. So, <laughs> Batman, I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. I don't want this conversation recorded. I thought we were here for an interview. Turn it off. Fine. Their message is picking up traction. Especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. It's all out there. Clear as day. All I did was write it down. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. I can't give you specifics. You're putting the safety of everyone in Gotham at risk. Well, if you really care about the safety of Gotham, why aren't you looking at Bruce Wayne? I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but with the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone, except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. Bruce Wayne is innocent. He's not responsible for what his father did. Maybe not, but he still benefits from it. All those people suffered so that he could prosper up in that mansion of his. I'm not stupid. I know you have some connection with him. That data drive he gave me? That was from you. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you gonna do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people wanna know. Believe me, I'll make sure Bruce Wayne's debt is repaid. Gotham will be glad to hear it. Thank you. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> Please, Miss Vale, think what you want about Bruce Wayne. But I need to find the children of Arkham before they hurt anyone else. You're right. You upheld your end. I lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, don't tell anyone I gave this to you. definitely a trap they definitely had the interview with her on purpose because they knew that she was going to publish the paper and batman would go find her and get the, this information out of her everything's dark here. quiet it's empty no sign of the children of arkham 
They may not have gone far. They should be there. No security, no emergency staff. If Vicky's right, it shouldn't be this quiet. Be on your guard. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. One of the children of Arkham. Loyalty doesn't get you much with these people, does it? Seems strange. There's something else. He was shot dead center, twice, executed. It outlived his usefulness, I suppose. This man's veins, they look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only there's so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here, no entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27-minute train ride from this depot? I'm looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. to know what they're going to do with the drug, exactly how they're planning on releasing it. These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. Someone's been practicing chemistry. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. Street, but how are they planning to release it? This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Easy access. The train car was raised to make working beneath it easier. They wanted to get this done fast. Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. Okay, so I'm Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. So I'm assuming we link this to the map now. The modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. I doubt that's what it's going to be, but... 
The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. alter the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the Trayathars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Good thing you reduced their supply at the construction site. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming. Take cover. If I'd known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. We're down to our last few barrels since Batman screwed up the transfer. <sighs> we we'll have to make do, I guess. Okay, you two, get these mixed, loaded onto the train. I don't know why, but for some reason I feel this like way. the boss Their leader is, here. is Vicky Bale. Catwoman. I could be wrong about that. She's got that, more of that absorbing but, uh, agent. I don't know. She must have a good reason for being there. She plays whatever side meets her needs. Currently, her needs seem to be focused on keeping all nine of her lives. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender, unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobblepot. Death might be preferable. I surrender. Take me instead, and let her go. Now screw this. I'm not that sort of damsel. Train's ready! Move out! thing is, they don't even see the smoke. The people of Gotham are stronger than you think. 
They won't let this city fall into chaos. You'd be surprised. Fear can be incredibly persuasive. Go on. Show me how you save your precious city. Just like the other liars. <laughs> I mean, it's only right. Come on, Bats. Return in the favor. <laughs> Should have gone after. Shut up. <sighs> I'm gonna get you somewhere safe. Just stay with me. Stay here, okay? Just don't move. I'm fine. I just need to get back out. That might work on your butler, but I'm not buying that crap. Stay there. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? Uh, huh. What? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. They would have killed you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I never pick a fight I can't win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. I feel like I owe you anyway. That's twice now. You just keep adding things to my list, don't you? Selena. I told you I don't like owing people. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader. I had a plan. Really didn't need you swooping in and messing it up. 
I was there, tracking the children of Arkham. I had no idea you'd be there. Must have been quite the surprise. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. I'm sorry I messed things up for you back there. I know. I'm used to it anyway. There's no such thing as a fresh start. Oh, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think she <laughs> likes you. Of course, the cat wins. <laughs> okay, she really doesn't like you. Yeah, well, you've got most of Gotham behind you on that. Well, not most. Maybe half. Just trying to be optimistic. <laughs> Cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something. So what is it you're hiding, Selina? All kinds of things. Come on, Bruce. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world, and won't let anyone else see? Yeah, well, the difference is my secret doesn't hurt anybody. Then you're better than most. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. Proving I can. That's not all you are. I think that's just what you want people to believe. You put a lot of faith in someone who doesn't deserve it. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but I've taken plenty from good people, too. For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town? The high is nice, but it wears off. Then you look around and see... nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. But it never amounts to anything, really. I think the place has... charm. <laughs> What's charming about it? The leak in the ceiling or the dirty underwear on the floor? It's not what I meant. <sighs> this is really nice, but it's sad because you know it's not gonna last. This is nice. Did you mean to say that out loud? Yeah, that was the right move, because the kiss on the forehead would have been weird. <sighs> oh, there we go. Nice. See that? Because... Uh, uh, <clears throat> kissing on the forehead... <sighs> might have resulted in her putting me away. I'll make it up to you. Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you gonna undo this for me? Let me help you. Mm. It's what you do best, isn't it? Are you trying to tease me, Bats? Is it working? Look at this smooth motherfucker.
Hey there. I'm starving. Well, I guess that means I'm uh, making breakfast. Wow. You even know how to work a toaster, rich kid? I am offended. Oh, too bad. I think there might be bagels in the fridge. Would definitely check expiration dates on anything. Before you think about putting it in your mouth. calls <clears throat> anyways we're gonna end the episode here guys crazy episode for all the reasons you know and uh also i'm telling you vicky Vale. i don't know i don't know about her anyways uh drop a like on the video if you liked it dislike it if not subscribe to the channel for more batman the telltale series i'll catch you guys in the next video later